All right. So, I want to talk about something. We'll talk about something. Right. And that is, um, I think for a lot of MK fans, to varying degrees, are very sort of unsatisfied with the way that MK1 is turning out. And that's fair enough, because when you've been a fan as long as a lot of us have been, um, it's just, you start to go, well, what else is out there? You know, is there something that can scratch the same sort of itch? Is there something I can, like, invest in? Um, and it's not to say that you can't, you know, that you have to stop playing more combat. We're not enjoying it for what it can give. There are certain aspects of it that are okay. But if you do love fighting games, uh, and of course you can obviously play other games as well. <laughs> like, you know, you might be playing a whole bunch of other games like shooters, races, etc. But if you're into fighting games, uh, and especially if you're on PC, there is quite a lot available to you, whether or not they're up your, you know, up your alley or not. There is a lot of choice available. Right, and so I wanted to showcase. This is um, just uh, you can create collections on Steam, and um, I've got 173 games in here so far. I haven't gone through my entire games list, so I'm probably missing some. Right, but this is a big collection of um, all the fighting games that I currently have uh, that I've you know got from my collection. I've got a big collection of games. Um, that are available on Steam. Now there are a couple that have been delisted. For example, games like Jump Force. Uh, so if you didn't buy it already, uh, you could probably still buy a CD key somewhere. I'm sure you can, still can do that. Uh, obviously Mortal Kombat Arcade Collection and Mortal Kombat Complete Edition. Those two have been delisted. But again, if you can find a CD key or other high seas uh, traders, if you will, right? I mean, if you can't buy them, why not, right? Uh, nobody's certainly losing out at all if you can't buy them anymore. Um, but apart from that, there's a lot of, of games available uh, on Steam, on PC. Okay, uh, Everything from your Street Fighter games, you've got Ultra Street Fighter 4, you've got uh, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Street Fighter Cross Tekken, uh, Street Fighter 5, 6, Anniversary Collection, Soul Calibur 6, shout out to Dynasty. Hello, Soul Calibur fan. Here you go, baby. You tell your girlfriend I'm coming for you, right? Just, I'm just saying that because apparently he watches my videos. So if he watches this video, you'll know. Uh, Skullgirls, uh, complete with mod to remove Sonic Hoax. Uh, and then you've got a whole bunch of games that sit in between. Things like Slice, Dice and Rice, Slavicus. Uh, these ones in particular are, are fantastic, right? Now, some of them do have a bit of a, you know, a bit of a gimpy gameplay. Right, but they're really fun. You know, Shaolin versus Wu Tang. Uh, I'll find the rest of them in a sec. Uh, you got the Naruto series on here. You got Persona 4 Arena Ultimax, which is cool. Uh, uh, you've got Pocket Bravery that recently came out. Power Rangers, One Punch Man, uh, All Star Brawl games are on here as well. I haven't got number two yet. Uh, just haven't got around to it. Marvelous Capcom Infinite. Okay. Uh, obviously the other Mortal Kombat games, uh, 1, 11, and 10, or XL. So, uh, and then you've got, and that's not the one I was looking at, uh, the Kohimi Inbu series, uh, Minion Arthur is on there as well, which is really cool, Melty Blood, uh, do I have, is that the Mel is that the latest one? I think it might be the latest one anyway. Uh, you've got massive King of, Fight, uh, King of Fighters series. Right, now I will warn though, if your King of Fighters 13 is not on a 2 terabyte hard drive or less, uh, it won't launch. Right. Now I know Global Match has been announced for other consoles, I'm hoping we do get it on PC. You've got Killer Instinct, Killer Kill, Killer Kill, uh, you've got uh, the Guilty Gear series as well, you've got all of them on Steam, which is very cool. Okay. Uh, of course you've got Injustice 1 and 2, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, which is, you know, I don't know if they're bringing out any more characters. Was it? Is it Wonder of You? I think just got released. Uh, you've got Grand Blue Fantasy series uh, here with both Versus and Versus Rising, which is awesome. 
Um, I'm just looking at the mainstay ones at the moment. Uh, EX Fighting Layer. Oh, sorry, Fighting EX Layer, my bad. I was reading the thumbnail, not the way to attack here. Uh, now, this is, goes into the Shaolin ones as well. You've got Fighters Legacy. So what the Fighters Legacy one Shaolin versus Wu-Tang. These games um, basically bring like classic martial art figureheads. Like, you know, it might be like a Van Damme or Chuck Norris, Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, Ip Man. And they put them all in the game. They don't call them that. It's kind of close. You can tell it's them. And they're pretty cool. You know, they, are they the same quality of fighting as, say, Street Fighter? Definitely not, but they're fun. Um, obviously, you've got the Dead or Alive series. Don't have six just because, well, I want to absolutely, you know. The Dead or Alive series and their, and their DLC marketing practices, I'll tell you what. Um, so... Oh, you got the Blaze Blue series, including the latest, which is Cross Tag Battle. It's awesome. Okay. And then you got the in between ones, or old games that have uh, come back for whatever reason. The Arcana Heart series, uh, Acceleration Suguri, which is a different style of fighting game. You got uh, Blade Arcus. Uh, you've also. <laughs> karate Foolish. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's interesting. Yeah, Brief Karate Foolish. Yeah, there's a bunch of Japanese dudes fighting in their brief. Or certain people out there might actually enjoy that more than they should. You got brawling games like uh, Bounty Battle, Brawl Hala, Brawl Out, uh, which is groovy if you're into that style of game. Uh, I'm just trying to see if uh, where my other brawling games are in here as well. Uh, obviously the Nickelodeon series. You got Lego Brawls, uh, which is actually a really good brawling game if you're into that Smash Brawls type. Which is great. Uh, also to go in with the Naruto style series, you got um, Demon Slayer. There's a Demon Slayer game out there as well. So SNK Heroines. Uh, uh, what are, oh yeah, you got also a little bit naughty games for so Strip Fighter. You got Strip Fighter Five. You can imagine what that's going to be like. Trust me, go check it out. Studios Fighters Climax Champions. Okay, obviously Tekken Seven with Tekken Eight coming out. Uh, and then you've got, uh, da, 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 where's the other one's gone? It's not that one. I'm not even, I'm not even going to attempt to say that name. You've got wrestling games on Steam as well. So if you're into fighting games, but like in a wrestling style, uh, you've got that. Oh, there's Shaolin vs. Wu-Tang 2. There we go. Yep. So, um, there, and this is just on Steam. Now, two schools of thought. Uh, uh, Kings of Kung Fu over here as well. That's another one. Okay. Now, Two schools of thought here. Do you want to play these games online or do you want to play these games offline? Every single one of these games you can play offline, perfectly fine, you're going to have a ball. Okay? Uh, whether you, you know, some people, it's sort of the thing, like some people expect like the highest quality with every game. Oh, it's got to, it's got to be like mint perfect control. You even got naughty games in here like Fight Angel, uh, obviously gets Fight Angel Special Edition, which allows you to fully customize your ladies. Fully. Right, and only ladies. Right, right. Oh, there we go. Capcom Fighting Collection as well. So, um, all of these you can play offline. You can have a ball. Uh, lots of different uh, subgenres and sub subgenres of fighting games that you'll find uh, with these particular games. Now, if you're looking for online play, obviously the big heavy hitters are the ones to go to. Now, currently, right now, as far as MK goes, MK1, MK11 is still getting a lot of traction. If you have MK9 or can get a CD key for MK9, the servers aren't shut down on PC. You can still play people. Just a FYI. Obviously, you can still play MK10. Um, you got a pretty good chance of maybe getting people in probably the, the Naruto games as well. Maybe not the earlier ones, but definitely the later series that have come out. Um, you've also got, obviously, King of Fighters 15. Although some people are playing the older games like King of Fighters 13 that can run it. I can still get matches on also Street Fighter 4, obviously in the wrestling games as well. So for online play, um, you may be limited, okay? But if you're if you're okay with that, you know, then by all means. Like we are getting the same game releases for fighting games that the consoles are getting as well, okay? So. We're not missing out. We're getting Tekken 8. We've just got Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising. We've got Street Fighter 6. We've got Mortal Kombat 1. We're getting everything. Okay, there's no restriction whatsoever with any of that. It just comes down to the fact of, you know, can you enjoy these games uh, offline? 
you know, if you can't find matches or don't prefer to playing online, can you enjoy these games offline? Uh, my answer to that for myself personally would be absolutely yes. This is a this is gigantic. Can the PS5 boast that they've got 173 games currently? Uh, maybe taking off three or four, give or take, if they from the delisted ones. 170, give or take. Can can the PS5 boast that? Can the PS4 boast that? No. Right. Uh, sure, they've obviously got a lot of these other games as well. Uh, and of course, we'll be getting things like uh, Project L's uh, new game from Riot. So there's certainly no stopping fighting games coming out on PC. But if you're sitting there as a Mortal Kombat fan going, well, what have I got? I mean, the closest that you can get to uh, anything sort of with like blood in it would definitely be Killer Instinct. That's probably the closest outside of going to previous Mortal Kombat games as well. Um, but otherwise, like, yeah, you sort of, there's not a whole bunch. There's not a whole bunch of choice in terms of uh, like similar style of Mortal Kombat games. Killer Instinct would be the best one, but Killer Instinct is an absolutely brilliant game with a recent 10th anniversary update. Uh, so that's got people swinging back in there as well, which is good. Now, if you are on PC and you've got a fairly sort of okay PC from the last five years or so, even longer, your fighting game restrictions are not limited to, um, they're not limited to just Oh, only on Steam or, or whatever, right? There is so much choice out there. Uh, and I know I've, I think I've talked about Fight K before, but I want to just load up Fight K to show you because I think it's very important that you guys can see that even old arcade games, games that like you never even would have imagined that you're playing online, are actually being played to this day with massive community. And it's and it's awesome. So let me just load it up quickly. Uh, da, 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 fight Cade. All right. So let me just uh, let me change the window. Where is it? There it is. All right. So this is Fight Cade. All right. Free to download. You can pay so you can have more access to games that you can see over on the right here. Okay. And if you wanted to find a game, right, so let's let's type in, um, so you can click on search and it gives you an option, right? So say you're after Mortal Kombat games. Right. It does a search. And you've got so much choice. Okay. You can play classic Mega Drive games online. Game Gear. Master System. Right, Super NES, uh, what else we got? And of course you've got the arcade, arcade ones as well. You can play these games online, and for the couple of ones that I'm in, uh, this is a hack, the Ultimate MK3, this is the MK2 Standard, Revision 3.1. Uh, you can see, right, even though it's small, dedicated communities, and you've, they've also got links for each of them as well, which is really cool. Uh, that's just for the MK2 Plus beta, right? And if we just come back to the simple search engine here, you can browse by categories, whether it be for Super NES, different platform you can choose, blah, blah, blah. And also they've done it for things like Golden Axe, you know, so games that weren't like, like not a 1v1 fighter, but like, like a brawler style, like side scroller brawler, you can also play them as well. Uh, on PC, you've got a ton of choice. It, it, there, there is an absolute metric ton of choice. Okay, and that's crazy, right? And you can see too how many people are currently in the lobbies, right? Can I join? Oh, I can't see yet. That's right, because um, I've already got three listed. You have to pay Patreon if you want to get more listed here, but you can simply just leave a room, you know, join another one, you know, leave that room, come back to another one. So there's all that choice to be able to swap in and out with the three that you've got. But it's amazing how, you know, you have all of this choice here on PC. Not to mention through naturally you've got emulation. So uh, some of these emulators also allow you to connect with other people. So if you've got friends that used to play with you, hey, listen, we can we can play the old 3D Mortal Kombat games. Uh, SRK is another one too. Uh, I did a, a interview with Bevan on the channel in the early days of this channel. 
uh, and he's got a Discord and whatnot where they regularly run uh, fight nights and stuff, and a whole host of old like PS2 games, etc., uh, and Xbox or whatnot, allowing you to actually physically connect up and play something like Mortal Kombat Deception or Armageddon or Capcom vs SNK2 online uh, with four guys to show you how to do that. So, when people say, and I've talked about this before, when people say, well, uh, there's no there's no choice, like, you know, uh, there's no content to cover for, for those out there that do fighting game channels, um, and, you know, or what, what games are there available? Oh, there's heaps. <laughs> there's, there's near limitless amount of choice when it comes to just fighting games alone. It's crazy, right? And that really comes down to two choices for you. Can you play some of these games offline and be content? Or do you primarily need them to have an online component? Uh, otherwise, it's simply unplayable or enjoyable for you. Obviously, the latest fighting games that come out, naturally, are gonna have massive online communities. Now that Steam is growing even bigger with the uh, fighting games that are coming out on it, well, yeah, I mean, you're going to find a lot of playstyle there. But if you don't like a Tekken, if you don't like a Street Fighter, and you're only a Mortal Kombat person, then I could probably suggest definitely Killer Instinct as an alternative. And Killer Instinct is badass. But um, otherwise, you know, unfortunately, uh, outside of the big heavy hitters, you know, you'll, you can find the smaller fighting games out there and uh, get into those communities, you know, find people on the Steam forums, connect up and say hey anyone want to have some matches a lot of people do that all the time so that's really good too uh, but it really comes down to that can you play these games offline now if you can play them offline and have a great time you are gonna be like a pig in shit you got so much choice out there so many avenues you won't ever run out you'll be able to play games that you never were able to play before maybe because you couldn't buy certain hardware uh, and you can play them now is great you can play them with whatever controller you can choose you choose i use xbox controllers on pc if you use playstation game uh, uh was it uh switch uh pro controllers let's say gamecube but yes you can actually do that you can hook up even old controllers uh to your pc with varying adapters and play games with your favorite controller so um yes there is a lot of choice uh and if you are feeling like what can we do? What can we play? And you can still play Mortal Kombat 1. There's no one stopping you doing that. Don't let people shame you for that. If you still enjoy aspects of it, keep doing it. You know, we all hope that Mortal Kombat 1 will become a great game. But as consumers, we pay for this thing. It should have been great out of the gate. We shouldn't have to wait years down the track for this thing to finally hit its stride. And in the meantime, if you are in that waiting game, shop around. Look around. See what's out there. Check the tags on Steam. Find a fighting game. Click on the tag for fighting. See what else is being listed and go, hmm, you know what, I might try that one out. You know, the Steam sales are on right now for Christmas, so you never know. You might actually find something that um, that really wets your whistle. And uh, you never thought possible. And um, I see a lot of people who are gravitating away from Mortal Kombat to Street Fighter and Tekken because they really feel like, unfortunately, and NetherRealm and Warner Brothers have discarded them as customers and people that they want to keep around as fans. And what happens when that happens is that people just go elsewhere or they find they either leave fighting games altogether or they go to other fighting games and make that their new home and the hope that maybe one day Mortal Kombat might return to greatness again. Uh, but until then, try not to get down. There's a lot of choice out there. There's a lot of welcoming, far more welcoming communities actually out there that uh, are very, uh, very helpful. I know I've talked to people both strong in the Street Fighter and Tekken communities. Uh, fantastic, fantastic people and their communities are so willing and eager to uh, train and help others learn these games. Something that I don't really see much when it comes to Netherrealm. Everyone keeps their secrets to themselves and don't necessarily want to help and foster a far more positive community for others. Whether they be tourists coming in and might, eventually might want to stay or for other fans in fighting games in general that have been dabbling in these other ones for years and go, well, maybe I should more like invest more. I myself certainly want to invest more in Tekken 8 <clears throat> because it's shaping up to be an absolute Godzilla of a game. It's going to kick all sorts of ass. It's, it's going to be huge. It's going to be massive. So 
Anyway, guys, I'll leave it there. Let me know what you think. Catch you next time.